welcome to the series on the Yamaha XVS650, otherwise known as the Dragstar or V-Star, depending on where you live. Now, this is a popular bike with new riders, um, which is why I'm putting together this series in the way that I'm putting it together. Um, previously, if you look at my other videos, you will see they tend to be quite long um, and they cover quite a few different subjects. But I'm assuming that a lot of people watching this are going to be newer riders, and you're probably one of them. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to break it down into very small chunks so that uh, you can pick and choose the video that you want to watch to do the particular thing you need to do to the bike. Now, I think these are a great bike for the new rider. It's not that they're only for the new rider, after all, I've been riding a long time and I really like the concept. For me, it's got three good things going for it. It's a V-twin, it's got shaft drive, and it's a soft tail, to use the Harley name for uh, a monoshock frame that is designed to look as though it's really a hardtail. It's an easy bike to work on. It's air-cooled, it's got carburetors, and it doesn't have ABS, which means that everything that I'm doing on the, this bike in these videos, you can do too. And most of it is the really basic servicing. Now, there are a few tweaks to this bike, which make it a little bit different to other bikes, um, but we'll cover those when we get to them. So, just as a finale, to this video, what I'm gonna to say to you is the starting point for any time you work on your bike is to clean it. Um, because what you don't want when you're working on your bike is to get dirty, that's not the point. Um, oil is supposed to be on the inside of the engine and since this is shaft drive, you should have no particular oil around on the bike. So clean it off first, De wash it, degrease it, get rid of all the road dirt and everything off the bike before you start working on it. You'll always get a little bit of dirt because you can't get rid of it all. But the areas of the bike you're going to work on make especially sure that you clean them. You want to be working in a clean environment with clean hands on a clean bike. It will transform working on a bike. Believe me, there is nothing worse than trying to work on a bike that's dirty and oily. You get all over your hands, it transfers to everything you're working on, your tools get oily and dirty, uh, your hands slip off the tools, the tools slip off the bike, and they damage the bike when that happens. So keep it clean. Um, you will see that I tend to carry around a rag with me to wipe my hands on on a regular basis. It's a trick I've picked up from a, a Harley engineer who's been in the business for the last 50 years and picked it up from his father, who was also a Harley mechanic. Well, engineers technically, but you get the point. So anyway, thanks so much for watching, and uh, the rest of the videos will be up soon. Mm -hmm.